in this video I'm going to teach you this classic lick by Eric Clapton and Cream. This is also a great springboard for improvisation. So get your ukulele out and let's learn it right now. By the end of this lesson, you're not only going to learn the lick, but a couple of cool springboards for your soloing ideas. Hope you'll check the video all the way to the end. I've got some cool things to share with you. I made a full tutorial for this entire song, Sunshine of Your Love. You could watch it at this card, and also there's a link in the description below. Getting right into the lick, place your ring finger, third fret, first string. Next note is the first finger of the first string. Tip number one is to leave the first finger down. Uh, very often when people get started with playing single notes, they are hopping their fingers up in this manner. Good idea to leave your fingers down, and they're not down because you're squeezing very hard. They just are settled on the instrument, so feel it settle onto the instrument. When that first finger is planted, you'll be able to find those two notes very easily. The next notes, you hop up to the second string, and you're going to play third fret, second fret, first fret, and once again, same game, you're going to leave them all down, lifting them up one at a time. The last three notes, you play the open C string, then the third fret, and then open. And it's really nice if you bend that note, just give it a little bit of a bend upwards. When we put this all together, it's a descending lick using the C minor pentatonic scale. Join in with me, please. One, two, three, four. One more time. Right now, I'd like to show you some ways that you can improvise using these same notes. We're gonna put on a drum machine and we're just gonna have some fun exploring improvisation. But hey, if you're getting some value out of this video, will you do me a huge favor and hit the like button? Really appreciate you being here. Hope you'll share this video and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks like this one. I put a drum machine on in the background at 100 beats a minute. Let's start an improv jam just by going through that lick one more time. It's all the notes of the C minor pentatonic scale. As you lock in with the rhythm, notice how some notes are on the downbeat, like right here. Some are on the offbeat. When you're ready to start to jam, just know that you can make a lot of great music simply by playing a few notes and then offering some space. Phrasing is best simple at first. See, I'm using just a few notes of the scale. Keep your ideas simple at first. Focus on making a tasty sound. You can make it tastier by sliding into each note like this. Maybe a little hammer. Pretty soon you're locked in. You can start to make your phrases a little longer. Two, three, four. I'll show you that starts on the third fret. Okay, third fret, first fret, third fret. Here we go. Good exercises to lock in with one idea three or four times and then move on. One more. All right, let's move on to a new idea. Okay, I went 030, third string. Okay, we're keeping our ideas simple and in the pocket for now. Yeah, one more time. All right, let's do another one. Let's play with the three notes on the second string. Do it again, ready? Oh. This is a big subject, of course. Notice how we're paying attention to offering space to our ideas, keeping them simple, making sure that we can hear clearly what our ideas are and be aware of where the downbeat is and if you begin before the downbeat, like one, two, three, four. See, I began early. Enjoy your
your sound, enjoy the dance of your fingers. Okay, that was three, one, three. And just a little hammer-ons. Let's do this one more time. Play the riff with me, and then we'll improvise. One, two, three, four. Keep riffing or go off on your own. And then you can always come back to that lick as a main theme. Space is the way to get your ideas across clearly to your listener. Have fun jamming. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video soon.